Thank you. 
please, folks. Aim to please. This is a number called uh, Love is Easy. If you right, chuck that out of your head. And many of you really care. <laughs> Thank you. 
you like clapping your arms, you should clap your hands in this one. This is a good one. He's having Tommy Rose.
Anyway. Hi. <laughs> Bad thing. Speaking yeah. about dildos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, seeing that we are, maybe on, we may be on radio. We may be on radio, so you have to keep the keep the swear words yeah, down. Yeah, swear words down. All like, right, um, so we'll just swear once every yeah. five words yeah. instead. Then. <laughs> Good night, Charlie. Hey, I've got to do a show. You know, you shouldn't get me drinks like this if I've got to do a gig. Yeah. Oh, I smell this. Really. Have a go at this. Have a go at this. Forget this. Have a go at that. Factory branded. That's where you get your Japanese accents. Really good. Ah, oh, stop! <coughs> that was good. Oh. That was good. Right? I really freaking good. Just did it. Just did it. I put it off right on the right. Okay. Got any questions? All right. Are we ready? I'm going to speak in German the next gig. Next show, I'm going to start speaking in German. German. That was great. There was only one person here, so I was speaking in Japanese, you know. Here we are. Do you think we're big ego trippers because we fuck around a lot? Oh, definitely. Is that the deal? It's weird, isn't it? You're not allowed to have an ego in this day and age. Go on. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm just babbling Hello. Uh, we're here at the Performance Center speaking to two bad fingers. I mean, two people left from bad finger. That's and, it. And, right. But namely? Joseph. Michael. Michael and Joseph. <laughs> And uh, this is an interview, I think. This is an interview. An interview. An interview means, actually, it means a view inside the personality of the person that you're talking to. You understand? Well, the that? intellect of the person which becomes like, interview. It all depends on which side of the mirror you're standing on. Which view right? do you have on the intellect? You can only stand on one side of a mirror. Oh, he says. 
We can see the, the, the intellect. Hmm? Other side of the mirror doesn't exist. <laughs> anyway, back to the interview. Anyway, back to the interview. Uh, so, tell me about Badfinger. Tell me about... Four commonplace people. Yeah. Grew up in the slums or wherever they came from. Where was that? Liverpool for two of us and Swansea for two of us. Yeah. You don't mind me interrupting Not slums, you? well, just like lower class kind of... Uh, slums. <laughs> <laughs> just worky pads. Yeah. Working class pads. Working class people. Yeah. And yeah. what about the group as far as its beginnings? Tell me about that. Tell them about the beginnings. The beginnings the was a group called the Ivies, which no relation to the Ivy League. Okay. So now disbanded. One of the best heartbreak groups. Which included myself, Pete Ham, a guy called Ron Griffiths, and David Evans, who's now not with us. Yeah. We should call him Die for short. Neither is Ron, by the way. Uh -huh. So, um. What a death trip. Yeah, so. So he got married. The Ivy started writing songs, man. Yeah. And like, a manager, Bill, kept saying to us, write plenty of songs, you know? And we'd get there. Don't so play. we started writing songs, man. Don't listen to any records. Don't go out with any girlfriends. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, <laughs> don't do anything else. Yeah, just, just write, write songs. songs man. Yeah. Don't listen to any songs. Just write them. Mm -hmm. So we did that. We got completely bored and pissed <laughs> and dejected and, and forlorn and like very nothing. Arrogant. Yeah, very <laughs> arrogant, self-conscious and uh, weighed upon and possessed. Another and word. possessed. So. Yeah. We took all those possessed tapes yeah. to Apple, who in turn repossessed them. Put, repossessed them yeah. And said, uh, said us to become successful, they made us to them again. You have to kick ass. Professionally. Yeah. So that you could say, okay, the man, that's a record. So we'd made a few records and a few successes became successful, <laughs> and in succession to being successful, we successfully reached the peak where we are now, oh, making a comeback. <laughs> uh, what about, okay, beginning with Apple, how were you first noticed as a potential group and music makers that had uh, Apple's potential? Well, well, we weren't a potential group, excuse me. You weren't? Oh, okay. we, were, we were potential songwriters. See? Now, yeah. 1974, we became a potential group. group. Who can't write any songs? Songs, but but given the given given a deadline, the songs will come out like like uh, rubbish out of a bin, you know. Bin, you know. You know they say no more. They waste a lot of good things on it, don't they? You know, they put a lot of stuff in the garbage can they can use again, and you know, they can make some of it, you know. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I know. See? See? Like? Yeah, like? Yes. Anyway, in Canada, yeah. people say like and see, and you know, and I know. And yeah. you know what I mean, and I know what I mean, and <laughs> it's far out, and it's wonderful. Yes, simply. That's what happens in Canada. In Canada. That's yeah. what happens in, you're not here, you know. You're just very serious by nature. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> He's sitting in. He's <laughs> <laughs> just sitting in. Good. What's your name? Is My name is Doug, I'm sorry. Hello, Doug. How are you? This person who's interviewing us is called Doug. Doug. And he works for Bivouac Radio. Oh, this is no. a place to crash. What? <laughs> BVAC, is that right? No, no, WVAC. WVAC. That's VAC. It's like an airline. VAC. That's a Polish radio station. <laughs> so they must have replay all the tapes backwards. So he'll say, Zoom. Zoom. It's good. Tra la la. That's it. Right. Which translated into common ordinary regular, the run of the mill English. It's, it's carnival. Really it's carnival. Tra la la. Hello, la. this is Badfinger okay. speaking here. Okay. Do you want to speak into the tape, man? No, I'll no, keep him off the tape. Number yeah, 10, man. man. Right number 10. <laughs> number 10, where do you get that t shirt from? Look at the beautiful, it's too much. Yeah, George has a pair of glasses on. George doesn't wear glasses. He didn't have that. He wears, he wears contact world. lenses. Gurus don't wear glasses. In the material world. No, man. Contact lenses are guru here. Yeah, the material world contains six door Mercedes Benz. <laughs> <laughs> a mansion in Surrey with 165,000 pounds. But a naked woman any time you it's like. It's not really there, man. It's not really there. Yeah, it is really it's there. It's all illusive energy, man. All okay. nescence and okay. darkness. Man. Let's talk about the interview, okay? Not, talk, uh, not no, talking about talk George, man. He's the opposite. Okay. As far as, as, far as Badfinger, uh, how much of an influence did the Beatles have on, us. In, on you as a group? As much as anybody else. Well, I guess we had an influence on them in a way, man. 
Do you think you had anything? Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, big time. <laughs> Charlie, man. Well, listen, yeah, man, he says, like, uh... <laughs> listen, man, listen, Explain what, further about me, that. He, he, says, he says to me, he says, he says to me, man, he says, how does that beginning go, that number, man? <laughs> Is it on the big deal concert? Yeah. Who said that? You know? Who said that? Oh, the concerts yeah. of Bangladesh. Yeah, man. yeah. I mean, the guy, he forgot, he forgot the, the intro on the drums. Yeah, so, well, I mean, no, he asked, he asked me, standing next to him, playing tambourine, right? Yeah. Didn't know what I was doing. Didn't know anybody there. Well, I knew it was something important, right? Mm -hmm. oh, you know what I mean? I mean, we, I influenced that guy a lot, man, you know? A lot. Yeah, no. I mean, you know, I taught him all he knows, he still knows nothing, yeah? All he knows, he knows nothing. <laughs> he knows nothing, and he taught him at all. Yeah. So <laughs> imagine, how, imagine how much he knows. Yeah. How much nothing. Mine knows nothing, man. <laughs> I was a teenage nothing. So I lived to tell, and now I'm a 26 year old something. I don't quite know what. <laughs> but I am 26, that's quite definite because I've read my own birth certificate. That's something, isn't it? 26 today, folks! Happy, is it your birthday today? Nope. Good. My, no. my birthday was March 12. My birthday is June 21st. Pis Pis <laughs> Pisces, man. Cancer! Are you into astrology or anything? Yeah, well, no, I was born under a no loading sign. No loading. No loading. No, no. I was born under no waiting sign, man. Yeah. I was born under <laughs> enzyme. If I gotta wait if I gotta wait for anything, it freaks me out. You know what freaks I mean? Him out. I cannot wait for anything. Next question. Next question. <laughs> I'll be asking a question, man. He looks yeah. intelligent. Okay, getting down to um, what I asked before. Did did the Beatles have a direct influence on you more than more than many we, just, we just answered that question. Not more, no, 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 like, no, seriously. Seriously. Not more and not less <laughs> than any other band that's happening, really. Hey, I have a question. Hey, I'm going to get this code. You don't want to answer us questions, oh, you just stay out of this. I'll just answer. Number oh, 10? Sorry. I'll leave my alone, Agent 10? Yeah. 99? <laughs> number but 6? It, it just seems that on a lot of the songs that you do, especially on this uh, straight up album, and all I can say for the other albums also, let me it say just something. sounds a lot like the Beatles, an awful lot. Let me say something. Is well, the, I disagree the Beatles, with you, The Beatles wrote songs, right? Yeah. We write songs, right? The Beatles performed the songs how they believe the songs should be performed, right? Right. 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 We perform songs the way they sh we believe they should be performed. I don't know if the Beatles would do them the same as we'd do them. Mm -hmm. I doubt if they would. You know, I doubt if they would too. Yeah. Right? So how can you possibly say that we perform songs like the Beatles? Because we don't do Beatles well, songs. I didn't say that. Put, but put it this way. Did we just hear the set? Did you say? Did you just hear the? We did the one day? Beatles song. I got it all tonight. Why didn't you do it tonight? Did you hear the set? That's my second. Yeah, that's it didn't sound like better than did it? No, but I'm just saying, like album wise, on the albums. Directed. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> I think that's I more production than anything else. Well, what, do you say, what do you think of people who call you or called you at one time, the Junior Beatles and stuff like that? Which you know, I guess. They were perfectly right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they were perfectly right. You understand me? No, I don't. I'm speechless. Explain for That's good. I'm speechless now, man. The Beatles were the Beatles. Yeah. And they wrote songs. They started writing songs when they were like 16 or 17. We started writing songs when we were 16 or 17. As it happens, four years earlier than the Beatles. Right? Wow. The Beatles were 20 by the time we were 17. By the time, he said, drunk. Right? We wrote the songs when we were 17, right? right? The right. Beatles wrote when they were 15, 16. So we were the junior Beatles, right? right. But now, right now, we're 26, nine years on. Right. The Beatles carry on writing the songs, which they were writing when they were 21, mm -hmm. 22. We're now writing the songs that we're writing when we're 26. Ooh, exciting, see? <laughs> the plot thickens. So our songs are just as poignant <laughs> just as meaningful, just as melodic as the fucking Beatles ever were. Right? Right. Now the Beatles are really great. The thing that was great about the Beatles was the energy. The songs were good, great in some cases. In some cases, mm -hmm. Beatles were great. In all the rest of the cases, the Beatles were good. You know, good, good. I'm talking about. I'm talking about good, good. I'm not talking about Grand from Railroad. Good. I'm not talking about Todd Rundgren. Good. I'm not talking about the Allman Brothers. Good. I mean, just good, good, man. Good, good, good. Like Tchaikovsky. Good. You understand me now? Good. Right? <laughs> good with a capital G. Yeah. Now we write Three songs which are capital B for bad, 
and capital A for all right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, when we're maybe 27 or 28, which isn't far off now, folks, so stay with us. <laughs> it's going to be worth it. We've been to all those places, <laughs> seen all those things, read the I Ching and the uh, Bhagavad Gita and the Bible, and it's far out, and we've been on the diets of the rice and the uh, papaya leaves. Taking the acid, man, the marijuana. Eating monkeys' brains, and what we found out was that it wasn't really psychedelic. You know what right. I mean? And what, ended, what, mean what, what it ended up was, in the end was, what it ended up as, excuse me while I just take a quick <coughs> shower, what was important was the fact was that we wrote the songs and performed them on stage for the people to hear. And when, when we go on stage, yeah, yeah. we say to the people, all right, here you are on stage, you know? Yeah. And if you were on stage, this is more or less what you'd do. You know? And try yeah, and give yeah. the people what they'd do, really. And that's why when we went on stage tonight, as this is a recording, folks. And in if between they don't have a two good, shows a at time, the Gonad Club in Pricktown, USA. Right? right? The capital of the cultural center of the US of USSR. Uh, Harvey University. For what you know. And I'm going to knock on the table. One, two, three, four. Ein, drei, drei, vom. Or each needs an quattro. Or one, two, three, four. Or having a little drink. He started to go downhill now. I'm downhill now. So it's up to Mike. Now over to Mike. Over to Mike. No competition. This Mike here, yeah. If I scrape that, will it go? Yeah, it will. It's a nice tape, man. I mean, yeah. I must say, they knock you for it. What hint is he going to drop? About 150. 150? Yeah. <laughs> Go on, it's up to you now. Do you get good rep reproduction? Oh, yeah, you'll get the reproduction. Did you ever see the Beatles? It's very compact, isn't I it? Saw, I was at the Bangladesh concert. Did you enjoy it? Oh, excellent. There you go, see. And, and I enjoyed you the best. Energy. Oh, come on. It is going ding, ding, ding. Opportunity. Ah, sweet Lord. You can't be a semi religious. You're either religious or you're not. Understand that and you'll see what's happened. Carry on. Okay, and what happened there? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Pregnant silence. Did you ever milk a cow? Uh, no. Did you ever milk a cow and drink the milk out of a cow? On one occasion, the I... The milk from a cow <laughs> is warm. The milk from a cow is sweet. You might get tuberculosis from it. But the milk from a cow is warm and it is sweet. And it is pure and real. And the thing that is wrong with it is man. Do you understand that? Yeah, I can understand. Right, well, now, that, now put that forward as when you're listening to a record by the band that you think is the best band in the world. Understand that? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to close up there now and say good night to you people. It's been very nice talking to you and I love no. you all. No. 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 The cows in the meadow go moo, moo, moo. And the guy in the shed goes pss, 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 squirts in the bucket now and he squirts it on his skin and he says this is good for my skin and gets rid of my acne, that <laughs> acne screw up and it's really good and you'll never catch a dose if you go with a bull. <laughs> Amen. Well, I've never been with a bull because I couldn't take his length. <laughs> Can you get away with length on, on the radio? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go in man, go in. Are you, have you got it all in perspective? Oh uh, yeah, we okay, got it. Well, I think we got a very in-depth interview. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Are you, gonna play, are you gonna play this on the radio? Oh, a very good chance. I can't good. Oh. Anything, I mean. well, tell all the radio station yeah. that we Wildly. Okay. Blackberry brandy and brandy is good for you. Isn't right. it? Yeah. Is it really? No, no, don't take anything tranquilizer, whatever you do. Don't take TCP or marijuana, or LSD, or mescaline. Mescaline isn't too bad if you eat the mushrooms. It's just cow's milk. You know, yeah. but cow's milk, cow's milk and like whole wheat bread, and whole wheat corn, and whole corn wheat, yeah. and... And all those corny things, man. You know, and if you beat up the butcher next time you see him, maybe he'll give you a good service. One more question. No, no, not one more question. I just want to say th good night to you all. Good night. Good night. Thank you very much for in entertaining me with such pleasant uh, intrusions. <laughs> well, the thing is, the problems we put forward are simple problems. Are they? In other words, you don't got to think about them. Oh, let's go. Sit, right sit right down. Screw right Sit down. Sit down now. Okay. Come on. Oh. I know. We're going to Thank you very much. Thank Shut you. up. <laughs>
Hi, this is Joe Mullen from Badfinger. I want you to listen to this station. Yeah, it's far out. It's wonderful. Every time I'm in there, uh, in Milton, Milton, in Milton, Milton, I'd like you to listen. Well, I always listen to WVAC, so I don't see any reason why you shouldn't. WVAC. I don't know if it's a commercial station or not, but if it does, what the, well, what does it matter? What the F U C K? You know what I mean? I've been there, you've been there, so you might as well listen to this station as any other station, man. So I'll see you later. Yeah, take two. Thanks for having me now. Hello, this is Mike Gibbons, speaking for Badfinger. I think, uh, firstly, I think Joy Mullen's a real cocksucker. <laughs> and, uh, you know. What's in your field, man? Just say hi. Hello, this is Joey Mullen from Badfinger, man. And I'd like to say, when I'm in the. Uh, Milton Schulmanberg, North Carolina, Virginia, and Boston, Massachusetts. I always listen to WAVC or WVCA or WACV or WCVA or WVAC to listen to those good groovy sounds, man. And excuse Michael Gibbons from Badfinger because he's a bit of a tear. But nobody really minds. You want to drink of my drink, man? I don't exactly. Good night. Exactly. American song, but the band doesn't do any Latin American songs, so we can't carry on with the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> one, two, one, two. Anybody should know that the liquor license ends at two o'clock. One, two. So if anybody's going to get as loaded as the band are, they better get up their cushion. <laughs> <laughs> All right? Now, this means that we're going to go home now. What did you say? You can't take it? You haven't started yet. Let's have some music. <laughs> well, I'd like to say welcome and I'm Ron from Badfinger. I think you're all very nice. And you look very pretty. Very nice. I think I need a psychedelic makeup on that, so I don't think you're as hip as they are in, I don't know, Springfield.
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. 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 Thank you, Mr. Ch
Enjoy clapping hands. This is the moment to clap your hands here, I'll tell you. Providing you started, okay? <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready? What? Martin?
sign to us. I don't know what they deserve. Yeah. 